On my travels through Ontario, Canada in the summer of 2019, I came across an amusement park on my way down to the famous Sobble Beach. There was just this creepiness to it, this feeling, this smell in the air. What happened here? I looked it up online and this amusement park has been closed since 2012. There just wasn't enough tourism in the area to keep it alive. They have 11 weeks in the summer to survive, and it just couldn't. But that didn't explain the smell in the air and the feeling. Something didn't feel right, like something in the area was disrupted. Two weeks before I got there, there was a fire. You could just smell it. The whole area just had this this weird vibe and feeling to it. On my travels through Ontario, I've seen so many abandoned places, empty gas stations, motels, old farmhouses, complete farms, and practically entire towns on this trip. And it made me wonder, I'm like, why is there so many abandoned places? But then when you gotta think about the weather that they have out here, so if you're running a functioning business that requires no snow, that means six months of the year, these guys have no business, no traffic, no nothing. So places like this, amusement park that I just found completely empty, you got six months of no snow, but probably two months of high, busy summer tourist season to cash in on. So you gotta make sure business is booming for those few months to be able to afford to keep this place here for the rest of the year. Anyway, enough of me yip yapping. We're in Sobble. We're we're on the South Bruce Peninsula in I don't even know where I am, guys. Guys, we're about 20 minutes outside of Wyarton, Ontario. That I do know. So let's go and take a look around at this empty amusement park. Just the fun and memories that used to be here, I am sure. Miles of smiles. Oh, this is so cool. I'm guessing in here used to be like bumper cars or something. Like, what are those things called? Yeah, those things. <laughs> oh, the fun and good times. It's the storage room of some sort. There's the signs for the batting cage. <laughs> There's a batting cage right there. All the doors and stuff are locked in the batting cage. I bet you this was a little boat thing. I bet you there's little kitty boats on here. And that used to rotate and the little boats used to float around. Oh, could you imagine the giggles and the laughs that used to be here? People used to have jobs. They used to turn this on and off for everybody. This is a super fun find. It's a little, little kid's Ferris wheel. See now, if this was a humongous amusement park, I'd be totally pumped. It looks like a little kid's Ferris wheel. This would be pretty awesome at night. Look at the big slide. I want to go up there and actually do that slide. This here looks like an old little go-kart track.
I'm gonna try to look this up online. If I do find anything about it, I'll throw the links in the description of the video. But this place looks like it's been empty for a very long time. <laughs> I wanna go on that slide. How awesome. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's very slippery anymore. It's got all sorts of patchwork. That might be why this place isn't here anymore because this doesn't look very safe at all. Super awesome. I kind of want to go up there, but kind of don't want to die today either. Oh, mini golf. This is awesome. <laughs> Some of the turf is still pretty good, whatever that carpeting is. Maybe it was a fire here that they couldn't recover from. This building is fully burnt down. Oh, that fire was so hot. All this stuff here is just completely covered and burnt stuff it looks like it melted melted all of this stuff over here <laughs> if you look at that it's probably like a hundred feet from here fires are nasty Whew, you can still smell it This was a pretty big amusement park. There's a bigger go-kart track over here. For me, finding abandoned places, I just like picturing what it used to be like, you know, the memories that were built here. How many people have so many childhood memories of maybe being in a place like this? people that got their first jobs in places like this that's why abandoned places just draw me in whether they're houses or farms it's just cool to picture you know what it used to be like and the people that used to be here that maybe moments were created here that changed their life for a lifetime <laughs> Like silly things like these tires here. You know, how many people used to have these? These are their old tires off their cars that these guys use them as recycling here. How many memories did that tire have? Where did that tire travel to? Who had the travels of a lifetime with that tire? <laughs> I think about these kind of things. There are lots of go-karts here. Is that one big track? Oh, this is so awesome. That's another go-kart track. Looks like they had this one. That one looks like a bigger one. And then a little kitty one on the other side. That was probably the control room where the guy like watched over everybody that was on the track. Ah! <laughs>
castle building looks like it was like the main room, like the main where you came in, parked in the parking lot, paid to get in. What a nice grand entrance to the park. It was called the fun spot. <laughs> it's a pretty big place. My van is parked way down there. No way! Oh, this is so cool. It looks like the what's left of a structure of an old little little rickety roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> so cool. Oh man. That is awesome. How cool. They don't look very comfortable. Or safe. This looks like looks like a pool noodle <laughs> with electrical tape on it. <laughs> Real safe. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. Oh, this was one of those jerky roller coasters that had like all metal wheels. So this was like, you know the ones that when you turn the corner, they go click and they make it feel like you're gonna fall over. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, this was the structure for it, I'm gonna guess. Not really sure, man, but these are tall. Bathrooms. Some stuff in the concession stand. Fridge. Ah, where you scooping everything out of? There's more track back there. This place was like a go kate a go kate a go kart heaven. This is Oh, so there was like a rooftop patio up here at one point. <laughs> Overlooking the whole park. Ah, this was cool. Hit the thumbs up, guys, if you like creepy, weird places. If not, if not, well, whatever. Have a good day.
All right, everybody, I'm gonna leave you guys with some shots of this place and I'll see all of you on the next one. See ya.